What's going on guys, LCG here with a new game for you called Rogue Wizards. This is a game made by Spellbind Studios and is just set to be released today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. They were kind enough to provide us with a free copy of the game. So promised we'd give it a look around. For anyone who's not familiar with it, this is a self-described RPG roguelike where you do what you do in roleplay games. You explore a new world and realistically, hopefully overcome some dragons and some magic stuffs. So he says, I'm so hungry. Has it been? Yes, almost two days since I've eaten. Go ahead and explore through this beginner area here. I'm gonna make a conscious attempt to make sure I read off much as I can. A chest, thank the elements. We wanna follow the storyline in this one, see what's going on. If you're reading the scroll, know it has found you for a reason. Yours is a trial by fire. I am sorry I cannot be more gentle. The scroll has now bound you to your task. Have faith, you are capable of more than you realize. Bang! And we're zapped off. Now we're in this little dungeon, and I believe these rooms are procedurally generated. This is an item. Pick it up. Worth good money. Click backpack to open your inventory. Got it, got it. We got a potion. What's in these barrels over here? Like nothing. One thing that's kind of neat is the way this world pops up around you. It doesn't just stay up. It's not simply line of sight. Alright, so during combat, this switches over to a uh, turn-based mode. We whack away. We got a cap of power off of that guy. Alright, break this door open. Got another weak skeleton. Go ahead and crack this guy a couple times. No loot from him. That's all right. We're not playing any games now, boys. Getting right into the thick of things. But we're gonna skip a turn. Let him come to us so that we can crack his headpiece open. I don't know what this is. Talisman of Adaptation. Pick that out in the backpack. Drop armor, combat stats. Backpack is a handy place. Drop weapons and items in the shortcut. Got it be socketed okay so this is gonna be for socketed gear understood move forward top away at this guy knock both of them out of the fight hopefully and pick up their gold now the one thing that I'm really hoping for is a quick upgrade Alright, so we don't have any keys. We gotta find some keys to open that. That guy's got a neat little weapon there. Choppy choppy. Alright, so all enemies have been killed. We'll actually come back. Oop, almost missed those boots. And I don't know what we got from that. Let's talk to Palom. Hello, who are you? I'm Palom and I've been waiting for you. Took you long enough to get here. What, you know who I am? Not specifically, but I know that a magical scroll brought you here because we need you. Who's we? No time for questions. We must fight our way back to the portal. You'll learn more when we're safe. So looking at this, there are no more doorways and no unexplored areas, so we'll go ahead and head down to the second level of the dungeon. Dun dun dun. Alright. What is this thing? Ember. Hey, look, an owl! Hoot hoot! It's easy to get lost in here. Come with me and we'll get out of here together. Beautiful. Now we got Ember on our side. Some more baddies. This is a skeleton and a Sasquatch. So they're helping me out here with this battle. It looks like I'm frozen. I'm getting whomped pretty good. 
gonna go ahead and use a potion. That guy just sprinted across the room and blubbed our owl. Alright, let's see what kind of loot we got there, because that looked like a new weapon. There's a lance and it's a downgrade. You can see by the red arrow there. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep on rolling. And that was not very kind, Mr. Yeti. Good. Bring him down. New spell acquired. Fireball. Your spell book holds all the spells you have learned. Drag and drop spells. Alright, you already did that for me. It looks like I only have 10... Um, 10... I don't know what you call it. Charges? You only cast it 10 times. Open this up. Take the gold. Something else on the ground here, it looks like. Alright. Oh, we got another weak yeti. Oh, I didn't mean to cast that. Do you see that? I just used magic. Yes, if you didn't have that ability, that scroll wouldn't have bound you. Bound? I don't like the sound of that. But how is this possible? I thought only the Elam could use magic. I'm a banlet, a common street rat. The Elam have kept magic to themselves, becoming rich and powerful, but they lied to us. Some banlets can work spells too. Alright. See. Oh no, I gotta, gotta make sure I switch back to this weapon. And we put ourselves here. We should be able to avoid that Yeti from beating us up too bad. And it looks like our um our little owl over there doing a good job of uh, zapping these guys. I don't know what the lightning is for. I think it's just another damage over time, but we'll see. And we leveled up. Which means we get healed to full health. Nice. We got a shock room of growth. There's another cauldron over here. So I can't use that just yet. Close in on this Yeti. Chop him down. Pick some of this stuff up. And oh, we got an Ethereal Staff. Let's go back to our inventory. Increase your attributes when you gain a level. Of course we will. We already have spells. Alright. Hunter's Tunic. Six defense and one socket. We'll do that for now. This one... This one is also an upgrade, but it doesn't have a socket. What does this thing do? Yep, we're not worried about that. We just want the defense for now. And this has significantly more damage, so we will switch to a staff. And the Chakram of Growth is lower damage. It is a ranged weapon, but... Boots, yep, they're downgrade. Chakram of the Infinite. We'll take a peek at that as well. Another... No good on damage, but let's level up. Alright, so power amplifies damage from items and magic across all damage types. So that would be weapons as well. Finesse, increased chance for blocking critical hits, disarming traps, and detecting secrets. And increased health and ability to absorb damage. we go two here, one here. We'll do one in finesse, because I think that might play into what kind of weapons we can equip later. Another double door in this direction. Got a scroll. Another scroll! Maybe this will lead to even better treasure. You have survived your first test. This means you are ready for training. I have created a magical rift, a place hidden from our enemies. Go there, you'll find some help to improve your skills. I would teach you myself, but I must stay hidden. The council is watching me. Antra is a secret town hidden from Hosperak. Who's Hosperak? Our greatest enemy. The reason we're fighting these creatures here. So, how does this orb fit in? It opens this portal. That's how we keep our enemies out. Come on. No. There's still a whole lot of dungeon to explore here, buddy. I appreciate your concern, but we are not doing it. Not today. 
maybe tomorrow. We got two different directions that we can go here. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and skip a turn so that he can come to us. Skip another one. Again, club him. And now he's close enough. Go ahead and pick some of these goodies up. of life and another treasure chest. I don't think we have any yeah we don't have any keys. Okay. I'm sure we'll find another one. Hey we get pinned up against the wall so that their charge here doesn't do much. At least we try to. Taking all the good loots, it looks like. Another Yeti here. If you dare go for that key. Ooh, but another treasure chest. Sparkling Hunter Bow. Got a room here that just goes back out. But I rely heavily on that map in the top right hand corner there about the only sense of navigation that I've got. Apparently that chakram's really doing Palom some good. Switch to magic for this guy. Snap him to the ground. Alright, so killed all the enemies. Picked up a key. We've got all these little red fireball things. I don't know. Oh, that's right. Those are for crafting in the cauldrons. Right. There's also a... There's a reward for unlocking all the chests. Um, if I can remember where that last one was. All the way over here. I thought it was in one of these corridors. Oh, there we go. All treasure opened. Alright, we'll go to the backpack one more time. Check out our items. The Eye of Antirit, which opens the portal. A hunter's tunic, which is equal to what we're wearing currently. Same thing. We've got a cap. The one we have now is way better. Look at that power increase. Plus 12. Sparkling Hunter's Bow. You can get extra 6 gold per pickup from the Sparkling Hunter's Bow. We'll keep that for now. And Extricating Cloth Boots. Huge upgrade. Huge upgrades. So we're going to go ahead and equip that. I think that's the end of this level. Looks like we got it all explored. So, one of the metrics that I use for determining whether or not I'm going to continue a series is the, uh, the likes that I get from a particular episode or the number of people subscribing due to a particular video. So, if you like this game and you want to see more of it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you can, Leave a comment in the section below if you have any tips or insight that I don't already have. Looks like we're in Enter It now. We have a little text bubble, so let's see what's going on here. Meryl, now where am I? Where's Palom? Who are you? You're at the Enter It Inn. I'm Meryl, the owner. Great, please tell me you have some food here because I'm a fat kid. You battle your way through a dungeon, end up in a strange town, and all you can think about is your stomach? I haven't eaten in two days! Wow! Oh wow! You look well fed, how about you share? Wow, I'm awfully rude. Here's a bowl of stew and some bread we just baked. Ah, that's better. Thanks! So what is this place? 
This is Andrit, a secret area in Rilfenor hidden from the Wizards Guild by magic. A wizard named Hosbrack has taken over the Guild Council. He's breaking the laws of Rilfenor, stealing power from the six elemental realms. Hosbrack is violating the balance of elemental magic. The boundaries between the realms have weakened and rifts are opening all over Rilfenor. Dangerous creatures are invading through the rifts and the world's fabric, but Hosbrack cares more for power than the lives of Banlets. Old Banlets and Elams. My goal is to gather an army and enter it to stop Hosbrack. We must close the dangerous rifts that he's opened and make peace with the elemental realms. I'll raise a wizard tower where you can learn more about magic. We'll talk again after you visit it. Alright, that's actually where we're going to end this episode. We'll check out the Wizard Tower next time. Until then, Godspeed and everybody take care.